As you adventure across the planets in Starfield, you're bound to come across some contraband. These items can be fairly hidden in locked caches or tucked away in the back room, and you can spot them by the yellow mark in the lower right hand corner and their high selling price. However, if you want to sell them for some credits, you need to find a trade authority representative ready for some shady dealings. You can find trade authority offices in most major cities, but you need to be careful hauling contraband around in your ship. If you fly into a major port, they will scan you and then ultimately confiscate your loot, unless you have shielded cargo space. And even then, there's still a percent chance that they'll still detect the loot. So here are some ways to locate and buy shielded cargo to bypass scanners and sell your contraband. And I'm going to show you guys a spaceport you can sell to directly without having to worry about a ship scan. The first and easiest place to sell your contraband is the den. This spaceport provides an easy way to gain access to a trade authority office without worrying about passing a scan prior to landing. It's also a great place for repairing your ship or registering stolen ones. To visit the den, you'll first need to find the wolf system. This system is right next to Alpha Centauri, so it shouldn't take too many grab jumps. Once you arrive, the Trade Authority is the first kiosk to the left, and all you have to do to sell your contraband is to just talk to the guy there. Keep in mind that all vendors in Starfield have a set amount of credits to buy their loot, so if they run out, you're not going to get any credits if you sell anything to them. However, you can always take a seat nearby and wait for their stock to reset, like literally hit the button to wait. I've heard that it takes anywhere from 36 to 48 hours though, so if you have any missions that are time sensitive, definitely keep that in mind. All right, on to the next option and into that shielded cargo space. One place to get an absolutely free ship is the side quest called Mantis. I'm sure you guys have heard of this one by now, but you should come across an audio log called Secret Outpost. If you need a guide on how to complete the Mantis side quest, then Chadley's got you covered with his video guide and a written guide over on dpscheck.gg. But after you complete the side quest, you're going to be rewarded with a ship that is actually really good and a huge upgrade from your initial first ship, but it also has a small shielded cargo space. The shielded capacity is 160, which is fairly decent compared to what you can purchase and modify your ship with. So this is a nice one that you can get really early. Just remember that having shielded cargo space does not let you fly completely under the radar when it comes to scans. By the way, if you're enjoying these tips and you want to see more Starfield videos, consider subscribing for notifications whenever I post a new video. All right, next on the list is another side quest area, but there's no need to actually complete the side quest this time. All you need to do is travel to the Red Mile, which is located in the Porima system. I hope I'm saying that right. Travel to Porima 3 and you'll see the landing zone there for Red Mile. Once you've landed, make your way inside and go past May Divine. You'll hear her talking to some guys and she'll probably want to talk to you, which you can do if you're trying to do the actual side quest, but you don't need to. You can just walk right past her until you see a guy hanging out in his office. Once you chat with him for a minute, you'll be able to browse his ships. He sells one ship with shielded cargo space, or you could also try the ship builder and add some shielded cargo to your existing ship. But again, just remember that this doesn't guarantee your contraband won't be detected. So make sure you save before you get scanned. If you don't want to lose it, you can always go back to a previous game save. The last option for shielded cargo space is to join the Crimson Fleet, but this can be easier said than done. You'll need to get caught by the United Colonies and taken to UC Sysdef, who will then send you on an involved side mission to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet. It's your choice, however, whether you want to stay undercover or actually become a pirate, but either way, you'll be able to get access to the key, which is the Crimson Fleet's headquarters. But make sure you follow the mission and don't try to go there too early because the ships that are just patrolling outside of the key are going to attack you on site as soon as you fly into the area. But once you unlock the key in that side quest, you'll be able to find the local ship technician there named Jasmine, and she'll be able to offer you a few ships with shielded cargo space as well as additions to modify your current ship. 
Now you can always find a trader ship just kind of floating in a planet's atmosphere, just floating around it randomly to sell your contraband to. Obviously you don't want to bank on that because then you won't really be able to travel around and do missions and, and things wherever you want, but definitely keep an eye out for these traders. I found one in my first playthrough and I have yet to find another one and I've played for over a hundred hours now with early access. <laughs> And then the last thing I want to mention is the payloads skill in the tech tree. Now I've seen the tooltip in game that claims that this skill will make guard ships less likely to detect contraband. However, the skill itself doesn't men mention anything about contraband. So if this works like the tooltip claims, you're less likely to get caught while flying around to different planets, not when you're being scanned by a main town. I think this means like random detection from guard ships flying around when you're in a planet's atmosphere because I have been caught holding on to cargo for this exact reason. But I believe this works this way because you are less likely to be detected when the shielded cargo makes up a smaller percentage of your total ship cargo. For example, if you have 160 shielded cargo space and 1600 total, then you have 10% shielded. But if your total was 640, you'd have 25% shielded. So invest into this skill if you see fit, but I don't think it's going to help you get to a town to sell your contraband. And those are all the ways that I know of to sell your contraband and make bank in Starfield. So I hope that helps you out. If you know of any other ways, feel free to leave them down in the comments below and we can all help each other be a little more shady. Hit that like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.